I'm John Batchelor. This is the John Batchelor Show. What do Marcos Melitzis, the boss of Daily Kos, and Karl Rove, the longtime philosopher of the Republican Party, the a man who ran the Bush White House and the Bush administration, according to some, what do they have in common, Marcos and Karl? Turns out, in my conversation with Marcos, I learned that he shares an opinion of Christine O'Donnell, the sudden surprise and colorful victor in the Republican nomination process in Delaware. Karl Rove, within these last 24 hours, used the word nutty about Christine O'Donnell, saying that the Republican Party would not support her. When I asked Marcos, do you believe that Christine O'Donnell is unelectable? Do you believe that Christine O'Donnell has made it certain that Delaware will stay in the Democratic camp. Remember, it's Joe Biden's seat passed to an, a, a placeholder. He said yes, and that for the first time, and he believes the last time, he agrees with Karl Rove. There you have it. Marcos Melitzis and Karl Rove. You'd have to say, heretofore, they were regarded as on opposite sides of the political spectrum. Well, they're together. So I reminded Marcos, and I remind you all, in politics, there are no permanent friends, there are no permanent adversaries. There are just permanent interests. And in this case, Karl Rove's interest is to win the Republican majority in the Senate. And Marcos Melitza's interest is to hold on to the Democratic majority in the Senate. And that's why these two men, both discerning, one's older, one's younger, both recognize that Christine O'Donnell has very likely sealed the fact that the Democrats will retain the majority in the Senate come November 2nd. I'm John Batchelor, Marcos and Carl. This is the John Batchelor Show.